Do you have one of these ladders on the back of your RV? I used to think this is all we needed until we went full time and started going up and down on the roof a lot. Cleaning the roof, cleaning the slide tops, installing solar panels, AC maintenance, roof maintenance and inspection, and getting those great sunset shots. That's a lot of going up and down the straight up and down flimsy RV ladder. Many RVs don't even come with ladders like our first travel trailer and our Class B Travato. In this video, I'm going to show how we use a telescoping ladder to make going up and down the roof a lot safer and how we use it in conjunction with the RV ladder. Thanks for joining us, but if you are new, I am Larry and we are Downsizing Makes Sense like the penny. My wife Allison and I are two 50-something empty nesters who sold our house and moved into our RV full-time almost a year ago so we could live a more adventurous life. Now, when we were staying at Payne's Perry State Park near Gainesville, Florida, in October, we met campground hosts Jimmy and Trina Gee, who are also full-timers. Jimmy was giving me a tour of the exterior of his Class A, which included how we used a telescoping ladder in combination with his RV ladder. He explained that he was a firefighter for 35 years and spent a lot of time on ladders. He felt that using a telescoping ladder and tying it off to his RV ladder was a much safer way to get on the roof of his RV. Up until then, I never really thought about it, but after seeing how much easier it was to use his method, I was convinced and started shopping for the best telescoping ladder on the market. Of course, I started with YouTube and came across a channel called Roofing Insights where the owner, Dimitri, tested eight different telescoping ladders by walking on the ladders on almost a horizontal position with 300 pounds to see if it would fail. Many snapped. I will leave a link to this video in the description. He torture tested $1,700 in ladders to see which was best. The extended climb ladders were the only ones he tested that could stand up to this rigorous test. RV ladders are too narrow, too weak, and way too steep. They are convenient and great in a pinch, but there's a better way to safely get up on the roof of your RV. Many RVers do not even go on the roof of the RV because of the danger involved in using an RV ladder. But there are some things that can only be done from the roof. I clean off the slide tops every time we pack up before the slides come in, since we don't have slide toppers. I also take this opportunity to inspect the roof membrane for tears and punctures from fallen branches and make sure the solar panels are clean and the tilting knobs are tight. The straight up and down RV ladder breaks one of the most important safety rules when using a rung ladder. A rung ladder should be at the optimal climbing angle of 75 degrees, which many call the four to one rule. For every four feet of height, the ladder should be one foot away from the structure. This angle makes it much easier to ascend and descend the ladder safely. The benefits of a telescoping ladder for the RVer are better climbing angle, the rungs start six inches from the ground instead of two or three feet high, it can be used as a short ladder or a tall ladder, it's easier to carry items while ascending or descending. It stores compactly and can be used on the sides of the RV. Now, some of the cons of a telescoping ladder are they are expensive, they are heavy, and they take up precious storage. They take time to set up and break down. Another option is to do what many other RVers do is to strap an A-frame ladder to the back of their RV ladder when traveling. Other brands you will see on Amazon and YouTube are the Wolfwise and Lion Ladder. Mark from one of our favorite RV YouTube channels, Grand Adventure, who recently went full time, did a thorough review on his Wolfwise telescoping ladder, and he told us personally that he definitely prefers it to the RV ladder. Now, both ladders seem to have good reviews and are much cheaper, but with my rheumatoid arthritis, and I'm not a young man anymore, I wanted to have the most stable, well built ladder made and was willing to pay more for that peace of mind. Some of those other brands offer one step collapsing, which speeds up the breakdown process. After doing some extensive research, I purchased the Extend and Climb 770p 12 and a half foot ladder. I paid full price for this ladder on Amazon, and we are not sponsored in any way, so this review is completely unbiased. Extend and Climb offers many different models, and they come in a home, a pro, and a contractor styles, depending on how you're going to use them. The other models range in height from 10 and a half feet to 16 and a half feet and up to a 300 pound capacity. Now I'm just gonna go through some of the features of my extended climb 770p plus telescoping ladder. It's 12 and a half feet tall at its highest extension. It's 32 inches high at its collapsed height. It's 20 inches wide and weighs 27 pounds. It has 13 rungs. Each rung extends one foot 
from the next rung. Now the first rung starts at six inches high and that's why it's a 12 and a half foot ladder. Now the rungs themselves are one and a half inches deep. It's a really comfortable place for your foot here. It has these little buttons right here and what these buttons are for is are for um, collapsing. You just push the buttons in and it comes down. Now for extending, when you extend it up and it goes to click, you'll see that when it snaps into place, these little green dots tell you that that level is extended and locked properly. When you pull up the next level, again, it pops and it turns green. It just it's very easy for you to be able to see that you have confirmation that your ladder, ladder is fully locked and ready to go. Now, in addition to that, let me turn around and get the feet in here. It has these bottom feet, which are a little dirty here, but they're like a rubbery type material and are really grippy. They have got kind of this angle to them. So whether you're on either a tile floor or asphalt or anything like that, they're gonna grip pretty good. Now it has this strap that holds it into place. It's just a Velcro strap, goes like that. And it has this cushy grip at the bottom so that when you strap it up when you're all done, strap it up nice and tight, it holds the ladder together really good. And it has this carrying grip right here because it weighs 27 pounds. That's uh, quite a bit of heavy uh, lifting right there. And if you didn't have this grip right here, this aluminum would be cutting into your hands. It's really easy to carry. Now the rails of this ladder, which the company actually calls Styles, are made out of aircraft grade aluminum and they're anodized. So they should be able to take um, the weather really good. You won't have any corrosion problems since they're anodized and they're really nice and smooth. One of the cool accessories I got from Extending Climb was this top rung cover. It covers it so your RV won't get scratched or dented when you lean it against the side. Now I'm gonna go through attaching the telescoping ladder to the RV ladder to make it a safe ascending and descending up onto the roof. Now, first of all, I gotta make sure I have my little ropes with me to be able to tie it off at the top. And I'm gonna extend my ladder so I get the proper angle, which for my ladder is all but the very top level. So I'm just gonna undo my strap. Just start undoing them. And I'm gonna do them all except for that bottom level. Then we go out here like this. Get attached that. I want that as close to that top level as possible. Make sure I got it on nice, steady ground here. Make sure it's nice and firm. It's on that level. I'm gonna move it up just a little bit, but I want it right there. So it's right there at the top of the ladder. I'm gonna dig this in, make sure it's nice and tight. I'm on nice level ground. I got them all extended. All the buttons are in the green all the way up. So I know I'm safe. So I'm gonna ascend the ladder. Always making sure I always have three points of contact, two feet in a hand or two hands and one foot. Then I'm gonna take my, my ropes right here and I'm gonna tie them off to the ladder. Now what I like to do is tie them off in a way that makes sure that it doesn't shift off to the side. So what I'm gonna do is tie it around here, tie it around here and I bring it around the top that way it's tied off at the top and it's tied off to the side. Tied off here, nice and tight. And take my other rope. I'm gonna tie it off to the side also. Go through like that, just loop it around so it's nice and tight. Any way that makes sure it doesn't, it can't go sideways. Tie it off like that. So now, now there's no way that this ladder could come disattached from the RV ladder when I'm ascending and descending. So now that it's fully attached, I can go up. So I'll go down. I got roughly the four to one rule. I might be a little bit further out than I need to be, but it gives me a really nice safe angle. I'm at that angle that I want to be. And now I'll show you how I just get up and down. up to the top, got that last level there, and I'm safely on the ladder. Now with this method, with this attached firmly on here, if I have to do a job where I've got to go up and down the ladder a bunch, this way I know it's firmly attached. For going back down again, get in position, put my last foot here. Now,
nice and safe getting up and down on the ladder. Now, to bring the ladder down, I just start hitting the buttons. And because I hit the button here and this one's extended, I got the safety margin, but now this one's gonna come down. Make sure you keep your fingers clear. While it's, you notice I kind of give it a little jerk and a wiggle at the same time, it helps it come down. Put down here. Again, I'm gonna do a little, I kind of like jerk it and wiggle it at the same time. Kind of jerk it and wiggle it at the same time. Now this last one can be a little bit tough. I gotta jerk it and it comes down. Put my strap on and I'm all ready to go and to take it and to pack it away. I never thought I would need a telescoping ladder for the RV until Jimmy pointed out the benefits of having a ladder that wasn't attached to the RV. I am so glad I did get a ladder because when I was filming my microware install video, I went up and down the ladder like 50 times over three days and boy, did it make a difference. I wish I had it when I did my solar install over the summer. Do you keep a ladder in the RV? Which do you use? Do you have a different brand or model of telescoping ladder? Please share your experiences in the comments section. If you like this video and want to see more from Downsizing Makes Sense, please consider subscribing to our channel by hitting the link right down here. I will also leave a link to a playlist right up here for you to check out some more RV product reviews. And remember, downsizing still makes sense.